mean, obviously we've been watching these players play uh, for quite some time in open and then even all the way back to, to you know, even looking at Rami's performance uh, last season, subbing for CLG. But excited to see these first three kick off. But glad to say we're jumping right into the match. CTF Coliseum, one of my favorite game types. Let us know who you think will win here, whether it's Dynasty or Threes Up. Give us your predictions in the chat, maybe some series predictions as well, Wall Street style. But we're going to go ahead and kick things off here with Rami to get the match underway, of course, on the Threes Up side. And here we go, strong side, match underway. All right, he's making his way over to the snipe side. Actually, opts to move back to the bridge. He noticed two players from his team were already headed that it's way. Interesting, so right? To nice see that. little switch. It's interesting to see that, though. You, you typically think on an opening strat, everyone generally has things buttoned up. For, so for him to kind of make a run for snipe side and then back to bridge, maybe a little bit of a miscommunication, lack of organization, yeah. but that's not necessarily to say that it's going to translate on the scoreboard. Yeah, definitely. Right, you are. He's going to get that player down to one shot over in the cave before he is finished off. Rocket player, that's going to be Rami. Uh, now, excuse me, that I believe this is going to be Monster. Apologies uh, about the upper thirds there. Uh, we are watching Monster. Monster is going to get the triple and commit suicide. He's going to fall now to Renegade. Yeah, but I like what he's doing here. I mean, I love to see that from a sniper. Head on a swivel, immediately checks his own rocket corner, makes sure no one's flanking. Generally, that's an indicator that the player is, you know, is one step ahead. If you're constantly checking your own spawns behind your base, you don't want to let those enemies get into your base. Look at this. Prototype's already running the flag. He's got it down to the bottom of the lift. Monster's down right behind him, picks up the kill, and that flag is moving. This flag could be captured right now. That flag is... He's being uh, trailed by his teammate. Two players here. Doesn't look like anyone in sight. And that flag is going to go in favor of threes up 1-0 yep. early on. Yep, and apologies once again, Monster and Rami right now with those labels switched. But we'll go over back to Renegade here. Uh, sniper rifle in hand for him. And looks like he's going to just try to continue mopping up as he picks up another headshot as well. He's got a little, nice little weapon in the back pocket too, a scatter shot. So he's holding down bridge uh, quite nicely now. All right, Renegade with scatter shot and sniper gets a nice plasma grenade, but also a nice scatter shot. There's no way out of that for, for Baby J. Uh, yeah, he was trapped like a rat, could have nowhere to go. That's going to be two down, though, for Dynasty. This flag is moving. I like the spot that Renegade's in because he's making sure that no players are going to be spawning over by that elbow and potentially Whoa. getting over to the area. But Interesting. What, very weird move. I'm surprised he walked or ran all the way over there, but that flag is still moving. Oh he is about boy. to make it in, and wow. yes, he gets it just before getting pelted down to no shields, and he still stays alive. I don't even know how. Like you said, Renegade must have gotten a very, very strong call out to make such a strong push all the way from Top Cat to, uh, to head over to his snipe side sneaky ledge. I mean, the, uh, very, very rarely do you see someone make a play like that as we go over to Rob the Turtle. Um, but it, eventually it paid off because they go up in the game 2-0. to zero. Yeah, Rob the Turtle firing some uh, rockets, uh, trying to get some good prediction rockets, not able to connect with any of those. Another rocket will connect with Rami, though. That's one down for threes up, about to be two down for threes up. Misses that rocket. That's oh, no. a big missed rocket opportunity right there. Chaser still alive, two down for Dynasty, staying alive, playing sneaky. In the rocket corner. Yeah, I, I like this, this play. Me as well, but it looks like Prototype knew about it, so he's going to have to probably act fast. He doesn't have any more DMR ammo left either, so he's going to need to find at least a primary uh, or maybe go for the SMG down here to uh, to try to get into some close quarters battles. But taking a look at the kills on the scoreboard strong side as we look across it now, looks like 25 kills here. Four threes up, outslaying their opponents. 26 to 16 now. Look at this, and they're running in this third flag right now. Prototype sniping. They've already got the flag back in their base. This could be it. They've got it in. That's 3 0 in game number one for threes up. Looking very dominant. Yeah, making a quick work of their opponents there. And, uh, you know, despite the fact that it took an extra minute or two and we saw some good resistance uh, on the Dynasty side, threes up looking very, very strong there. Total time on the clock is going to be 3 minutes 34 seconds. And the final uh, kills uh, to death is going to be 29 to 16 in favor of threes up. Take a look at this monster, nine and two. Very big numbers from him. And it's going to be prototype here, nine and six as well. Nine kills a piece each. But it's That's rare that you see uh, a player. Rami, by the way, still rocking that now very rare limited edition CLG skin, bottom right. Um, but very rare that you see a CTF game that no one crosses the 10 kill threshold. Yeah, right, you are. I mean, that's the first time I think we've seen Dynasty go down in that fashion throughout the entire tournament so far. Uh, we haven't seen them lose that badly. 3-0, uh, and it didn't seem like they were able to get any type of control. Uh, they weren't really even able to get a flag back to their base. Uh, it just seemed like they were just constantly stuck on uh, a bad spawn uh, yeah. rotation, just getting trapped by 3's up. 3's up had the sniper. They had rockets. Um, 
actually, we did see Rob the Turtle with a rocket, uh, actually a missed rocket that kind of cost him uh, an initial push to try and get a flag. Uh, but we do have over on the featured station uh, Panda Gaming playing right now as well. And we'll go ahead and cut to that actually right now to show you an update from the floor. Uh, we'll get the actual, this should be a series. Uh, I believe this is going to be a game one. We'll get confirmation from the back. But here's the uh, scoreboard so far. This is going to be game number one right here, as you see, Panda Gaming up against uh, the, the gentleman over here on Bittersweet. But now looking at 0-0's zero, zero score, we have a little bit of a flag standoff. But I want to once again thank the uh, crew in the back for hooking up these featured stations and getting us a ton of extra Xboxes back here. Uh, to be able to cut to these feeds while we wait for the next main stage game to get started. So we're going to be cutting back and forth today as we try to give you updates from all across the floor to show you some matches uh, that are happening off the stage as well. So that first flag is going to go in there for the guys on Panda Gaming. And uh, they've made quite a run so far, and you can expect that on Panda Gaming they really want to make a loser's bracket run. Right, you are. And uh, they are holding this one OV, so... They can play a little bit safer. Obviously, you don't want to play too passive. Uh, you want to play uh, a bit aggressive and keep that pressure up. You do have Rockets coming up here shortly. See if they're going to be able to get control of that. And actually, I think, did we see a flagpole? Uh, no, uh, they're not going to be able to get that flag out and moving yet. But VTech over on the snipe side right now. Trumps off the map. Not a good play there from VTech. Looks like Rockets are going to go in the hands of Brainstorm Hill, try to just stay alive on bottom, which is bottom middle, which is, you know, not a bad thing, especially when you're at this point in the game, you've got one flag in. You can kind of play a little bit slower, a little bit defensively here, so that's exactly what they're doing. Once again, this is an update from the featured station. It's going to be Bittersweet and Panda Gaming in game number one. Uh, we're going to cut back to main stage shortly uh, to, get, to uh, get game number two. It sounds like those players uh, getting a very quick break. So for now, we're on board here, Panda Gaming and Bittersweet, and we'll stay with them until we get that game number two underway. But once again, thanks to our admins on the floor, going to continue to give you updates throughout the entire open bracket, and even throughout the day as we hit championship bracket, going to be cutting to as many matches as we can on the featured and also side stations. So that's going to be a tie game here now as we're going to see uh, both flags uh, in. So it's going to be one to one uh, as a score as we stand. Good run there from Rainu, but it cost them all their efforts. And that's going to be three down for Panda Gaming. Last guy that could stop this is going to be Cloud. And he's in a great spot to stop the flag run. That flag will go down at the bottom of the lift. And look at this, you've got so many players from Panda Gaming just immediately rushing down over to the bottom left. Is going to be able to get this return right now. Cloud staying alive, trying to pick up a few more kills. He's going to fall, and that's two down for Panda Gaming again. And look at this. I think we have the sniper in the hands of Munoz. If we could go and check him out, as uh, there is another flag pulled. Uh, a lot of ammo. Hasn't shot a, sh a single bullet yet. Oh, very. I don't know about that. You got to get your shields back. Is. Uh, Maybe Probably didn't know about the player little, with the carbine, right? Well, he actually saw the player with the carbine. So he has no excuses. Yeah, I mean, he maybe he's just feeling a little bit nervous. Thought a player was behind him. Uh, but, yeah, very weird to poke out right there and then die uh, with the sniper rifle. Good shots there from Yunos to push in on Goofy, pushing that advantage. And we're going to see possibly another uh, bittersweet flag run here. But immediately collapsed on by Panda. Uh, so Panda Gaming, once again, playing very disciplined. And to be honest, what we saw in that last game from threes up was I loved how aware they were of the enemy spawns, right? When you see someone, like, spawn checking their own base and making sure no one's spawning behind them, it's generally a pretty good indicator that they have control of not only the game, but that they're not really having any openings or gaps in their setups. And threes up totally dominated that game one. If you're just joining us, we're going to get back to that main stage matchup in just a bit. Threes up versus Dynasty for a guaranteed relegation spot at the HCS Pro League Finals. Uh, but for now, we're on board with Bittersweet versus Panda Gaming. Look at this, you've got Cloud with the Rockets, picks up a double kill, Gabriel with the Sniper. They've got all the power weapons on the map right now, but even while picking up those kills, they weren't able to get any flag moving. They lost the Rockets. VTech has the Rockets on the other side. You can see on the left side of your screen right there, next to VTech's name, you'll see a Rocket Ooh. and a Pistol. That'll let, that lets you know what his two weapons are. Gabriel still just with the sniper, playing very slow, hit, taking his time. There's no need for him to push up. Munoz is going to be taken down over at snipe side, and I believe Gabriel does get a call out that there's a player over on the sneaky over here. Uh, he does spot him, making his way up to the top bridge, and we'll get some shots on Randa. You're going to see Gabriel now making a push in with the sniper rifle. Gets it one player weak, finds another player. Can he pick this kill up? Notices the shadow, not sure if you saw that on the ground, and decides to... Ops to, to stay back. 
but it does sound like we are going to switch back over to main stage and check in with them as we get ready for game number two of Threes Up versus Dynasty. So we'll check back in here on the featured station in just a bit. All right, now you see back here on the main stage, we got an early morning crowd here checking out these open circuit matches, finals matches before the pro bracket begins. But now back to the action. It's going to be Tzaksik on your screen. Him and the crew, Rob the Turtle, Chaser, and Baby J getting ready to face off against Threes Up here in game number two. I think it's going to be Slayer on Regret. We'll keep you updated on this side station scores. Uh, we actually have that on another screen, so we'll keep you posted on exactly what's going down on CTF Coliseum and try to jump back into matches later as well. But I want to kick things off here with Baby J for Slayer on Regret. All right, Baby J making a run for this bottom middle overshield. Actually decides not to go for it. He's going up top. Uh, he does have his other teammates going for that OS. We'll find out who did pick that up here in just a moment. Baby J getting some help from his teammate. Staying alive, getting hit by grenades, though. Still has his shields down, but still staying alive. Great plays over on the other side from Rob the Turtle and doing a great job in making that player push all the way out to pink two to pick up that kill. Baby J dropping down to bottom middle, and that's going to cost him, though, trying to get that plasma caster. And I believe that was an overshield burn right at the beginning. I'm going to check. Yes, it was, a, a, it was an 11.54 burn by Tizoxic, so look for that. Of course, two minutes from that mark uh, as we take a look across, and it's going to be an early score of six to three here. All right, Renegade now getting some grenades over at pink two. Down by three right now, still early into the game. Uh, but look at this, all, these, all of his teammates, he turns around, and they're all just getting pegged down to one shot. Kind of playing a little bit more defensive. Dynasty has control of that top middle area. Big kill there from Tzoxic going in for the double kill, getting the protector. Bite right, he's right back up to the top mid area. He hasn't left top mid, I don't believe, this entire game just yet. Tizoxic really always knowing the power positions on the map, but he will get flanked by Monster and be taken down. And right there you see Tizoxic, I think, made a wise play at first to kind of continue challenging that window, but was not ready for that bend flank. So he will eventually fall. Uh, but Threes Up uh, now rallying back. For a moment, it looked like Dynasty was going to control the pace of this game, but Threes Up has uh, been very resilient to make sure they keep the score close. They're still within three kills here. Right, you are. We do have uh, Overshield coming up here in 20 seconds right now. So uh, this is going to be another uh, big Overshield uh, to try and help lengthen the lead for uh, the guys here on Dynasty. But uh, Rami is going to get outplayed there yeah. in a 1v1 top And you hear Baby J actually uh, yelling across the stage there, yelling Rami's name. 14-11 now in favor of Dynasty. By the way, Pandy Gaming and Bittersweet still 1-1 one -one in Capture the Flight Coliseum. Right, you are Chaser now, getting ready for this overshield. Get some shots. He does finish Rami. Big kill from Chaser and not allowing Rami away, getting away with that overshield. Over to Rob the Turtle. Rob the Turtle's made some big plays today. Let's see if he's going to be able to make any big plays right now. Getting some shots across the way here over on the car side of the map and getting some shots across the map on pink side. But he will get tag teamed and taken down extremely fast. But look at this. The guys on Dynasty, this is a little bit different now. We saw them having control of top mid. Now it's kind of have. We had the switcheroo effect. They are the ones getting trapped into the base, but that's kind of the nature of the beast. That's how Regret works. Regret is this fast, extremely fast type of gameplay, and uh, you don't want to fall behind too much because it could be uh, it. Could be it. Lights out for you falling behind by way too yeah. much here. And that was a great play there from Renegade. Pops up, knows there's two players there, finishes with the scatter shot, doesn't get greedy, and then bails out. And then even though they're still down by three here, uh, being able to pop in and pop out when you need to when your team's supporting is such a big deal. Now over to Chaser here. They're up by four. All right, Chaser does have the scatter shot and battle rifle making his way to top middle right now. Let's see if they can keep this lead and lengthen this lead potentially. They are putting on a lot of pressure, not slowing down at all. This aggression is nonstop. Spots a player level two the base, gets him down to one shot. Player sneaks around the corner, but that scatter shot's going to completely back him down. He will be weak at bottom yeah. car. Another player pushing him on the car side. Jeez. He'll take him down. He knows one more player is here, though. He's going to back him down with that grenade. And great play from Chaser. Right now he's a one-man show, and thankfully his team came in to finish at least one of those kills, but holding off three uh, players on the enemy team great stuff from him by the way it's going to be i believe panda gaming up two to one in that coliseum ctf as an update from the floor we'll let you know who closes out that game now back over to tizoxic top middle tizoxic getting some shots in but wow he's going to get outplayed there nice thrust maneuver from rammy to the right over to monster as he's just where we saw chaser getting some help here this is a 2v2 little bait and switch back and forth 
Gotta love to see the bait and switch. A classic play that will always be Boom. in Halo. And the overshield right into his hands. That's gonna be an overshield at 49. Just moving quickly all over the map. Monster was a big player at Orange County in free for all. Although he didn't make the grand finals here in Las Vegas, definitely a player known to have that individual skill. Spots another player under the base. Actually is going to opt to push him because he does have the help from Prototype. Three's up now, up by three kills. A little bit of OS left. Just finding everyone so quickly. Picks up the Plasma Caster, not slowing down at all, just firing them across the map, trying to get the players off spawn that are pushing out of the base. And look at this, prototypes over at Car. You've got Monster top mid picking up kills. They're collapsing on the spawns here over at Blue Base, firing off shots nonstop into Blue Base. Still three shots left in the Plasma Caster. Does potentially spot a player at red. Yes, there is a player at red. Picks up a kill on a killing spree. Monster Jeez. just going on a terror right now and finally taken down. And now over to Zoxic, and Dynasty's got to be panicking. They were up by, you know, four kills about this entire game or so on average. Rami sneaks out an extra kill as well, but they're now down by five, 38 to 33 in favor of threes up. So there's just about a minute until that next overshield. If the game slows down a bit, we definitely could see that come into play. Yeah, that could be the final overshield, and that will be the deciding factor. If your team can get that overshield, that will win potentially win you the game. I shouldn't say will win you the game. You've got to use it correctly. So they are going to find that player, which was going to be Baby J trying to sneak out of the base. Rami getting into a 1v1. This time, Chaser is going to get the best of him. Rami does fall from a perfect from Chaser. 36 to 40 right now. Dynasty trying to play catch up. They are down 1-0 in the series. Definitely want to win this game. So they do not fall behind 2-0. to zero. Three down for threes up. They are one kill away from being tied in this match. Plasma Caster's up. Baby J with the scatter shot. And there is going to be an update on the right side of your screen. That's right. You see Panda Gaming wins game number one. Coliseum CTF that you guys were watching earlier just now. They're going to go into map number two. Oh, Panda no. Gaming will. Shots off the wall, I believe. Huh? He shot. He got himself with the scatter shot. I, I, I actually think the splinter grenade, uh, he missed his first shot, and then the splinter grenade was thrown potentially. I think, yeah, we'll maybe that scatter we'll may have, have got him, but he missed a crucial scatter shot to, to literally just to the body of that player, was not even looking at him, and he missed that shot. So now threes up, really taking advantage of that right now. 47 to 42, Renegade now with the scatter shot. Look at this, getting some good shots at top car. That player's gonna run away, realizing he has no chance of fighting three players that are just immediately charging him. Now we are at 49 kills to 44. Threes up just needs one more kill to close out game number two. Prototype staying alive, decides to just keep himself alive and make himself such a hard kill. Not yet though. Three go down for threes up, guys. 49 to 47. Wow, it's gonna be once again four alive there. Rami might fall as well. We could see a 49-48 scenario, but the players on threes up are gonna to try to push out together here. And what a turn of events. It looked like it was for sure a threes up victory, but three have fallen. This is super intense right now. Baby J in a weird spot though, getting caught out at bottom middle. Not too sure what he was doing out there. And he will fall. That's gonna to go to threes up game number two. You know, to be honest, Rob, I thought they were going to pull that back. It looked like Dynasty had a chance to win that game. It was a 49, I believe, to 42. They started just picking up kills, kills after kills, and ended 50-47. But I'm not sure uh, if Baby J was trying to play sneaky down at bottom middle. Uh, but let's take a look at the replay of that missed scatter shot. I mean, yeah, what a series of events there at the end, as you see. I was also checking on the match highlights here, so I was only happy. But there's that scatter shot miss, right? And then, oh, I, I see, that's the splinter came straight in, misses the scatter, and that's it. I had originally thought that those scatter shots came back at That was a crucial him, kill. Uh, because I'm watching far too many screens as we now have multiple featured stations at our caster desk as well that we are also tracking through the day. So thank you for <laughs> bearing with us. Uh, but in the end, a 50-47 uh, win for threes up here on the stage over Dynasty. A little bit of a heartbreaker there for Dynasty as they were leading by four about the entire game. And uh, yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be it. But it sounds like that Panda Gaming victory was a two to one CTF Coliseum actually ended on time. All right, well, looks like we are ready to go into game number three here. Slayer on Plaza, threes up. Looking to close, the, actually, sorry, this is on the... Yeah, well, you're watching too many stations, Strong yeah, Show. This is going to be actually our next game here. Uh, this is going to be, I believe, our game monitors. number two uh, that we have between Panda and Bittersweet that we can jump into uh, really at any time. We're ready to head yeah. over, yeah. as you see, uh, 
but our, our game number three in this other series, we're, we're going to need a, a very specific graphic to explain just the exact complicated web um, of what's going on. Well, all right, let's hop into the match going on in Featured Station is what I just called out. That's going to be Bittersweet versus Panda Gaming. Ryan with the Plasma Pistol is going to pick up a kill here, taking their lead 6-2. to two. Now we saw Panda Gaming just moments ago earlier uh, lose uh, on Plaza against Dynasty. Uh, Dynasty, they played in Plaza Strongholds, though, but uh, still, uh, you know, I'd have to say uh, this Panda Gaming, they're going to have to definitely kind of pick things up here uh, from previously how they played on this map. Uh, uh, keep up that aggression. Uh, they, they kind of got overthrown by the aggression and the pressure from Dynasty. Uh, and uh, they, they couldn't match up that pressure. So we're going to see if they can do that or if Bittersweet is going to be able to uh, beat them again, which they did earlier in the tournament in the open circuit. That's right. Now, as you see, players are also loading, by the way, into Strongholds on the rig back on our main stage, which is 2-0 to zero in favor of 3's Up. Dynasty coming so close to uh, not only clutching that game, but then also coming back to win after falling down. But they'll be down 2-0 in the series. And as a reminder, that is for a relegation spot. But right now, you're checking out the side featured station. Panda Gaming versus Bittersweet in game number two. And it's going to be Goofy with the sniper rifle. So we'll go ahead and jump over to him as we'll go ahead and scroll through. I believe he's going to be right here. Yes, indeed. Only one shot left, though, in this weapon. But regardless, look at this. 11 to 4 is the score there. We're going to keep you posted on the scores from this game as well. Thanks to the tournament admin team who has been doing so well to uh, keep us posted on exactly what's going on across the stage and also helping us get all those feeds into the caster desk today so we can cut to those but strongholds on the rig is loading up right now threes up versus dynasty as a reminder threes up is leading the series two to zero they only need one more match to guarantee a spot at relegation all right strongholds on the rig we're going to see players fighting for that camo uh, but most importantly players battling for the nest and battling for the basement strongholds you also have railgun uh, also a hot commodity to have here on this map picking up some quick and easy kills uh, Rami immediately heading over towards the tower, uh, but he's going to opt to let his teammate pick that up and lead the charge over Look here. Look at this. And he is just flying oh. over towards the basement. Wow, and gets that deny right away early. He's going to be able to do that, but he finds more resistance here, and it's a chaser just goes with the confident ground pound, but Monster, I think, is going to get away with the camo here, which will be big, especially in their opening moments of a Strongholds match. So a pretty, I would say, uh, spread out approach from threes up to try to get that basement flank and sneak away with camo. It appears to work out for them. Yeah, and now he's got Shoddy in his back pocket. So, yeah, a deadly combo to have. Now making his way over towards the nest. Looks like he has Rami here as well. So this could be an easy capture here for the nest. In a quick capture, throwing some splinter grenades, to, uh, just a safety precaution so no players can poke out there. Will pick up the kill on Baby J. Rob the Turtle Falls as well. They're down two players. And look at this. They're just monster, just not allowing any player to really push out from this angle over here and just keeping up that pressure. I think both these teams are great at uh, just keeping up that aggression, uh, but they got to be weary to not block the spawns. This player almost getting a, uh, a ninja on him uh, by thrusting back behind him. But look at this. You're going to see two more fall uh, for threes up. So monster, I think, is going to go for a trade here since they're losing basement. Going to try and pick up this area wow. here. Long range shotgun. Jeez. Very generous right there. Yeah, and he decides to not only get that kill boldly jumping out, but is also going to get the stronghold secure. Uh, so a very well done job from him to make to ensure that they maintain those two points. But finally, Dynasty will be scoring once again. Some great moves from Monster uh, using his thrust uh, incredibly well. Now that's going to be three down for Dynasty. Looking pretty good here for threes up, but they need to make sure they capture two strongholds and get a little bit more control. They're going to potentially hold a three cap here for just a few seconds. Actually, they'll make the trade uh, with Basement and uh, they'll make the trade with BR base. It, actually, now they're holding the trip cap. Here we go, Railgun's about to pop. See if they're gonna get this, and Camo will be up in 10 seconds as well. So we're gonna go over Rami now, who does have that rail. You can bet that they're both gonna be watching Camo area, and I think it, I was, I was assuming that it was gonna be Rami who's gonna go, but that might not be the case. So let's see who might be in position as we go over to Prototype. All right, Prototype gets a nade. He gets some hit takes over by the BR base, finds a player bottom tower, but wow, that's going to be a reversal there for Tzoxic. Big so play from him, and then Rob the Turtle with camo and railgun. Yeah, it's going to be a 9.37 camo grab for Rob the Turtle, so keep in mind that time for that next drop. But it's going to be a score of 43-9 to nine for threes up, so they are making quick work here. Dynasty 
Uh, I have to say, I like what I've seen from them. They just have not been able to convert when they needed to throughout the series. This is definitely not over yet, though. They could come back here. They could put on quite a show. We could have a lot of games yet to play, but Dynasty is going to need to turn it up a notch. And, folks, if you're just tuning in, this is a relegation match. The winner of this game will move on to relegation and be playing at fall finals for a spot in the next North American Pro League. Rob the Turtle is still with Camo, still with Railgun. Camo's about to expire, still has a shotgun as well. He is just on a terror right now. Pops into the, to the stronghold to help cap that, to finish it off. They're going to try and make this comeback now. Picking up a lot of kills, wow. but they have to play uh, some serious catch up if they want to bring themselves back in this game. Another, I was oh, about to say, man. another railgun. He, he but still managed to get that kill. Almost maybe got a two for if that shotgun spread was exactly what he had hoped for, but they are climbing back on the scoreboard. What we need to see is a little more slaying control, and just now you saw Rob the Turtle, Rob the Turtle demonstrating that very well. Well, you just use of the railgun and the shotgun. We need to see a little bit more slaying, and I think the other problem is that it feels like Three's Up is still playing one step ahead. They're getting to strongholds a little bit faster. Off of the spawn, they're getting specific sight lines and, and routes that, that are, give them really an upper hand, even when they might be down a man in the, in the match or the push. Now uh, we've got Three's Up back in control. 60 to 20, trying to close this out in a 3-0 fashion and secure their spot. Monster staying alive. He has some teammates nearby getting shot across the map. I like just you bounce out of there. Staying no, alive, yep. no reason to, to fight that battle. Stay alive. And look at this. He's going to come back to fight another day and take down that player. Maybe get a double kill. No, Rami's going to help him out. And look at this. Yeah, they lost the nest, but now they're regaining control here. So I think overall that was a pretty good play from them. And uh, now they will secure Actually, they haven't secured that nest yet. A camo was available. I believe it's going to be a burn for Baby J unless he manages. Oh, Baby J might get him on this one. Great shots from Baby J, but it looks like Monster does come in to save the day. Make sure that Rami does not get taken down by the camo. But regardless, that camo was picked up 729. Uh, could be the last one of the game. Depends how these next two minutes go. Yeah, we did see the nest go into the control of threes up as well. It was hanging there for a moment. Didn't look like they were going to be able to get it. Look, could have been reset, but 71 to 28. Three's up looking like they are going to take game number three and a relegation spot. They got to be feeling good right now, but it's not over yet. You got Dynasty still trying to fight to stay alive, but look at this. You've got Prototype behind them at BR oh. base, and oh no, Prototype taking down Chaser right there. Baby J flying up to the catwalk, trying to get into a position where he can potentially get into a good spot, and he. Prototype will be taken down. That's going to be two down for threes up. Dynasty does not have much time. They need to get another stronghold right now and start putting some points on the board. they got to stop the bleeding. And they do just that. Strong side is they're going to go ahead and score. It's going to be now 31 to 81. So still quite a deficit, but game is not over yet. But I like what I'm seeing from Prototype, making sure he's pushing in. But I believe it's a shotgun over here that was in the hands, if I'm not mistaken. I believe of, let's see, I think Rob the Turtle. He will be taken down, though. So now over to Chase over the rail. Trying to go for an extremely long range railgun right there, uh, but definitely keeping some control. That's going to be two down for Dynasty, though. If Chaser does fall, this could be bad, but you know what? It's bad either way because they did lose their second stronghold right now. That's going to be threes up, about to get a trip cap right yep. now, and yes, they do. This is not looking good, Bravo. This could be it for Dynasty. Yeah, and nice work there from Rami to avoid that railgun, and uh, now the trip cap will be paused momentarily, but still 91 on the scoreboard and two points in control for Remy and Threes Up. They're still locking down this basement stronghold so, so well, making sure nobody can push in. And uh, they're just going to ride this out. There's no, They don't need to do anything different but hold nest yeah. in the basement right now. And just let's see, slow. we are going to see that last camo, which should make it pretty easy for Rami to secure this victory. But I stand corrected as Rob the Turtle with Railgun in hand, doing everything he can to hold on. He will fall, I believe. Just a few seconds left for the crew here. Double kill from Monster. That's going to be it. A 3-0 to zero victory for Threes Up. And ladies and gentlemen, they are headed to Burbank for the relegation finals there. We'll see if they can break their way into Pro League. Yeah, great plays there from Threes Up, showing that their, their team change uh, did help them out. Picking up Renegade was a good addition to the team. I was talking to Rami and uh, asked him why they picked Renegade up. Why did they choose him in specific? They said Renegade was great at controlling the power weapons. Uh, Rami uh, wanted a player that was good at controlling sniper rockets, just someone who's going to be going for those power weapons to keep their team in some control. And look at this, you're going to have Monster dropping 18 kills here. And uh, a good amount of kills from the rest of the guys. And over on the other side, Chaser uh, kind of having a poor performance here in game number three for them with three kills and 13 deaths. Yeah, 138, uh, pretty dominating victory. And I think that really came as 
We didn't see a single total control, obviously, from Dynasty. And what we did see on the other side was really just the slow eating away at their scores. And that would be it. But that's going to be threes up with a 3-0. 3-0 in Coliseum CTF. Regret Slayer will go 50-47. The closest match we saw with actually Dynasty leading for the majority of the game. And then we're going to have threes up, closing it out on Rig Strongholds quite easily, 100 to 36.